I'm John McNamore with Masterbuilt and the author of Dadgum That's Good. If anybody knows me, they know I love corn, cooked any way imaginable. Well, today we're going to combine what I love as far as hush puppies and corn, putting them two together to come up with a corn fritter. In fact, these things are so dadgum good, I named them John's Corn Fritters. And to get started, here's the ingredients. We've got some whole kernel corn, one lightly beaten egg, one third cup of milk. We've also got one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, some baking powder, kosher salt, and black pepper. Now we're gonna combine these in two different bowls. We're gonna take the corn, the egg, and the milk, and mix that up in one bowl. And then we're gonna take the dry ingredients, the all-purpose flour, the sugar, baking powder, kosher salt, and black pepper, and combine those together. And if you don't have a spoon, if you're at home, yep, you just use your finger. Now we've got our dry ingredients, and we've got our corn with our milk and eggs combined. And in the large bowl, you're gonna combine these two together. And this is gonna create sort of like a hush puppy, but it's a corn fritter. And it's important that you get the ingredients correct because it's not quite as sensitive as baking, but when you're doing a hush puppy or a corn fritter or like our hot water cornbread, you want that consistency to be good and mixed correctly so that it will roll off and create that fritter while you're frying it. Now that we have our mixture, we're ready to go into the fryer. Again, it's set at 350 degrees, and we're gonna put these in one tablespoon at a time. And here's a secret. Take you a cup of some water and dip your spoon into the water to make the corn fritter. Just about hush puppy size, and lower them into the fryer. Dip your spoon in between each time you lower them in. We're gonna fry these corn fritters for about six to eight minutes or until golden brown. And here's the secret. If you've got the perfect mixture, these babies will roll over on their own. It's been about eight minutes and I must say, our corn fritters have been like little machines. They've all turned automatically on their own, no assistance, which was an indication that the mixture was perfect. Now we're gonna pull these up and let them drain for about a half a minute. Now, what do you do with corn fritters? They're great for appetizers, they're great for the meal, and they're actually good with dessert. You can add a little powdered sugar to them, a little syrup, make them even sweeter. We're gonna pour these out. And folks, that's gonna be a great corn fritter. I'm John McLemore, and I can promise you those are gonna be dadgum good. Mm -hmm. 